All right, I'm back out of here again. I, I've got some parts in so I can uh, work inside the cab. I, I really need these things because I don't have much room, but got eight inch subwoofers. I got a cheap amp to push the cheap subwoofers. And then I got six by nine or six and a half inch speakers. So um, I can actually do the door panels now. Because the so uh, I'll be able to take this bin out, put a, one of the door speakers here, and then there's enough room by the regulator to put the second one there, and then I'll be able to take all this out and put that eight-inch uh, subwoofer. I bought shallow mount subwoofers, and nowadays they got neodymium magnets, so they can make make them not as deep so you see it's only two and a half inches deep from where so i'll be able to put these in the door a radio unit still not here yet but i've not really stopped by not having the radio unit i needed this because my only place to put the amp will be down there So, my plan to put the amp is going to be right there, but that heater box has got to come in here too, and the radio is going to be right there. So uh, I measured it. it, it's pretty close to being perfect. So my other option is to put the heater box there and um, either put the amp up in like this. Um, which may may work better putting it in like that and then putting the heater box in the middle but these two are going these two things are going to fight for space in here so I need to get the dash out now I can actually make the vents since this showed up and figure out whether I'm going to put this here or I'm going to put it over there because I don't have any I can't put it under a C or anything and I want to put it outside so now that I got this so I'm gonna have eight inch subwoofer six and a half six and a half and uh, I got a cover coming for the eight inch and um, you know so it's not you it won't get damaged so I, it, it hasn't shown yet but I don't need that to do what I'm doing um, this may have to get recessed back in for it to clear you know, I don't have any problems. So I may cut it out, but the by putting that regulator in, see that this window can be changed too. It doesn't have to be. So it, this will be changed and, and cut so the speaker can go in there. Same thing with that side. I mean, the mount can come up all the way into there, cut and change the window shape. Put that second speaker there, and then uh, the bottom of the rail that this slides in will probably have to be cut off. And uh, they give me a paper template to make this, but we're going to put that 8 inch subwoofer in there. And then the radio has a 7 inch touchscreen, has a backup camera, you know, which I really need. So we got we got the parts in. For, I can actually start moving forward on the on the door panels and, and the dash, which you know I really needed all this stuff before I just go putting slamming everything in there and then like oh shit you know it's a lot easier to put the stuff under the dash when you can take you know the dash isn't actually in there yet. So we ought to have so I got four of these and I got two of those. They're uh, Rockville for cheap. But, and this is a cheap amp, but so these are uh, 300 RMS, and this is 250 RMS, uh, and uh, I'll be able to uh, put one speaker, you know, bridge them, put one speaker on each side. It should push it pretty good. And uh, with the open exhaust, the nice thing about windows is, you know, I, with the, when I get the windows in, um, 
it won't have to fight the exhaust as much but oh and I got so uh, I'm never near ready for this yet but once I get the cab all done these are uh, steering shafts out of like a third gen um, Dakota and the reason why I like these is they come with a factory needle bearing so I got and I got and these are uh, elongated u-joints like if you buy them from jegs they're $45 just for you know like 30 degree u-joints so these are elongated it'll give me even more room to mess with and then I and then I actually also get the forged so I got um, two sets of those u-joints and two sets of the longer u-joints and two sets of bearings and these were $50 per shaft so for 100 bucks I have all the, everything that I need and I'll be able to come in here and put one of the bearing mounts here u-joint there u-joint there bearing mount here and then um, you know come off this side and use the other bearing mount so this thing should be good and strong and I got plenty of swivels for a hundred bucks and uh, all the ends and everything so these are gonna work out real good to give me you know I mean if I was to buy just the bearings and that you know I, I, I should have had 50 bucks just in the bearings but by finding an automotive intermediate shaft for steering um, you know I, I get all these extra parts and uh, I should be able to make it work really well you know you know needle bearings inside here and and uh, it'll all be removable so it and uh you know these bearings they're actually made so that they can float instead of the normal bearing so if if there is some movement in there i'm not actually trying to break the thing off the frame it'll actually be able to float that and this bearing can float you know so the whole bearing can float on that um on that uh, uh, guide it rides on and all these parts will be uh, uh, cheap and readily able to buy I just you know if something goes wrong but I once I get it done I should never need a steering shaft again so that that's a pretty major thing but now that I got those door speakers now I I had dental surgery so right now I'm kind of you know not with it all the way so I haven't got to doing this regulator and I'm just kind of recovering right now so but uh, I'll be able to do the door panels and uh, put that defroster in and uh, I found the size that I need for that for those defroster tubes I bought I bought one of them but I'm gonna have to so inch and seven eighths um, exhaust pipe here it's actually inch and three quarter but I don't know if I can get it to go in there with one hand but anyway that slides right in so I can clamp it and what I'll be able to do is you know buy these exhaust type tubes and you know kick one over to that one kick one over to that one you know and then make the make the actual vent piece that will come up to the windows but like I said I couldn't mount this one I couldn't start with this work which is basically the the next thing I need to do is the defroster but I couldn't start doing this until I knew where I was gonna put that amplifier so now that I got it I can start working on the defrost and uh, hopefully everything goes well um, nice thing about buying cheap parts is if it gets ruined I just buy another one you know so and just use these for mock-ups on future builds or whatever if they get but I'm gonna try my best to not destroy them you know so all right hope you find this interesting you know have a nice day